Welcome to E-Universe Live for October 24th, 2000. How you doing? My name is Malcolm. You can also call me the Man of Love, which uh, I don't know where that came from. I'm still trying to figure out where that came from, but uh, a couple people a couple years ago dubbed me the Man of Love because my motto is I love everybody. I may not like everybody per se, but I love everybody, so... There you go. What is E-Universe Live, you're probably wondering. Well, E-Universe Live is about having a good time. It's my personal guarantee that the show will be about having a good time. I can also tell you I'm not perfect. I can try to make the show perfect. I can do retakes after retakes, but eventually I'm going to screw up along the way. So keep that in mind. So <laughs> I apologize in advance if I just like that I, I, I think I butchered the word advance there so there you go so anyways what's going on with the show today we're going to be talking with our first guest isn't this ironic my name Malcolm of course have you watched the Fox show Malcolm in the middle I dig this show I like this show a lot I think it's a very cool show Justin Burfield who plays Reese on the show is going to be our first guest on a universe live hey, sounds pretty good huh so if you like to laugh if you like to have a good time for about 20 to 25 minutes per day, just swing on by showbizblast.com. You can find us as part of showbizblast.com and also as part of the uh, daily newsletter from showbizblast.com that goes out each and every day. Actually, it's a very cool newsletter. Hey, before we get to Justin Burfield from Malcolm in the Middle, I wanted to mention a couple things coming up on the show this week and in the future and also what we're giving away this week. From right here at E-Universe Live, we're giving away a copy of Toy Story 2 on VHS, Gladiator on DVD, and U2's brand new CD called All That You Can't Leave Behind. How do you win? Easy. All you do, if you got a comment or a question, send it in to feedback at eUniverseLive.com. And if you want to, at the bottom of the email, specify what you'd prefer, you know, out of Toy Story, Gladiator, or U2. And if I read your email on the air, you win it. Nice and easy, hey? Hey? Also, if you've got a suggestion on who you'd like to hear on the show, whether it be somebody from the music industry, television, movies, whatever, send that into feedback at eUniverseLive.com, and that'll get you qualified for this week's prizes. Coming up on the show tomorrow, we'll be talking PlayStation 2. It's taking the world by storm. On Thursday, it launches in the U.S., and we'll be talking with our resident PlayStation expert. Also coming up in this week and in the future weeks, we've got Brittany from formerly of Big Brother. If you dig that show, you'll uh, like the interview. Also, uh, the, some of the cast from Just Shoot Me, also Spin City. Hey, not too shabby there. Kelly from Survivor, who finished second to Rich. And also uh, one of the newest cast members of The Sopranos. Of course, The Sopranos kicking off their new season in March 2001, and... We'll give you the inside scoop on that, so how about that? Also, uh, some of the biggest uh, and coolest names in uh, music, like Orgy and Sister Hazel, a new rapper on the scene. Well, actually, he's not a new rapper at all. He's been around for quite a while. He's just an interesting guy. I think you'll dig this. Uh, his name is Fat Lip. He's got a new album coming out called The Revenge of the Nerds next year, so you got that to look forward to. And finally, a new band on the scene uh, that's opening, or actually opened up last month for Collective Soul and Creed, which is a heck of a slot to get for a new opening band. Anyways, they're called Full Devil Jacket, and they'll be on the show to talk about uh, their new album. So you got that to look forward to. Then that's what's coming up on the big show. Right now, let's talk Malcolm in the Middle. And the big show continues. It's uh, Justin Burfield from Malcolm in the Middle. How you doing? Good. Now, you're Reese on the show, right? Right. You know what freaks me out is that I didn't even know, and I didn't put the two together, that you were actually on, uh, what is it, uh, uh, Unhappily Ever After? Yeah, I was. What? I don't even remember you from that show. <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> no. Yeah, I was rarely on that show, actually. Um, oh, really? I was in, like, one scene every episode. I played Ross. Oh, okay. Right. I, you know what freaks me out about that show is the talking dog or whatever. The, the little, bunny. The, was it a bunny? Everyone calls it a dog or a bear. <laughs> I thought it was bunny. a I thought it was a dog. <laughs> Everybody says that. Don't feel bad. It's a bunny. Everybody. What, what was the bunny's name again? Uh, Mr. Floppy. <laughs> Never Floppy. How can you go wrong with a name like that? Did you like your experience on that show? Yeah, it was fun. Uh, when did you start doing that show? How old were you? Um, I was like seven or eight. Wow. And you're now 13? 14. 14. Oh, okay. Wow, that's cool. And, um... And Malcolm in the Middle has been on basically one year now, and you're Reese on that show. Right. You know what I love about that? Um, see, I get the feeling that most people who play dumb guys, and, 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 I, and I, I think that Reese is kind of a dumb guy, am I right? 
Yeah, I'd say so. I, I think I think what epitomizes basically is the 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 one episode I remember the most. Uh, my favorite Reese episode is the uh, the funeral one where you know your mom. Uh, Wants to take yeah. all you guys to the funeral. Yep. And, and you're like, I'm like, why doesn't he just go down to the 7 Eleven and throw the damn thing into the trash? I don't know because Reese <laughs> has to make everything complicated. I know. Everything's got to be a big deal. It's got to be big, bad. Um, how much worse could it be if you put it in the coffin? <laughs> so everything's got to be a good idea, bad. It's got to be going 10 times out of your way. Right. That, that's Reese for you. I, 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 I love that character. You like him? Yeah, he's fun. I mean, uh, it's great being, like, goofing around, like, not being, in, like, having to worry about, like, being all smart. It's, like, really fun. I love these goofing around. He's just, he's like a goofball. It's the best. Right. Are you, are you surprised with the uh, success of the show? Um, when, when it first, like, came out, I had no idea it was going to be that big. Right. But I'm, it's, like, just going with it now. It's like, great. Uh, gotten used to it. I used to tune in, uh, well, for I guess so many years now, ten years, to watch, you know, The Simpsons, and then whatever was on afterwards. Right. But now I find myself um, tuning in to watch Malcolm in the Middle <laughs> and The Simpsons because it's on just before it. That, that's great. I mean, because like next season when we come, like November fifth, they're going to start us out Sundays also, but then we're also going to be on Wednesdays, I think. And they want to use us as a lead-in show. Oh, as a rerun or as, as a lead-in. People? Like, we're going to lead in Wednesday night shows. Really? That's, like, an honor. Wow, that's pretty cool. Actually, like, they want us to be, like, their lead in. That's great. <laughs> so we're going to do, like, we're going to have two new shows, Sundays and Wednesdays. Oh, how many how many shows are you actually shooting for this upcoming We're shooting year? 25. Really? Oh, that's yeah. cool. Okay. And, yeah, I know I know Fox is notorious for starting their uh, fall season really, really late, and it's happening again this year, but because right. of the baseball thing. Yeah, because yeah, cause right now we're not even on because... Baseball playoffs. Fox has got a lot of good shows these days. I know. I know uh, the seven the, that seventy show is now in um, now basically uh, doing new episodes and they're rocking in the ratings. Right. So yeah, they just had their premiere. Right. I think like last week or whatever. And you guys are top twenty now. That that, that must be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. A top twenty show. And that's for reruns. <laughs> right. Yeah. There you go. That's true. So where is Dewey? <laughs> um, I can't say. <laughs> Oh man, Dewey! You know I love that kid too. He's he's hilarious. He's also, funny. he's a good kid. He's got that. I don't know. He's got that. He's got those big ears and kind of like a hamster. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, it, it freaks me out though about uh, the the older brother who's always away from school. But somehow you guys make that work. I don't know how you make that work, but you make it work. Yep. Um, actually, I have the same name as uh, the, the the title character on the show, Frankie's uh, Malcolm. So, how about that? Is that ironic or what? That's cool. I got to get Frankie on the show. <laughs> now that would be a kick, huh? Anyways, but yeah, I mean, I, I can honestly say you're probably after seeing that uh, funeral episode, you're probably my favorite character on the show. Though, Thank you. Though Jane is also great too. Yeah, She's, Jane's awesome. Uh, I was glad to see uh, you guys uh, win a couple awards. Yeah, that was oh, cool. So. Uh, can't wait for next year. Hopefully, we can get nominated for best comedy. Right, yeah, yeah. That would be great. That would be really cool, because you guys deserve it. Though, I mean, Fox doesn't get a lot of respect in that aspect. I mean, The Simpsons was so good for so long and never got nominated for Best Comedy, which I thought was the biggest jip ever. I know. I, I love that show. The Simpsons? I, I watch that show. In reruns, yeah. Those, yeah. Some of those. I always watch it. Whenever I see it on, I always have to stop and watch <laughs> Homer. Homer's like the greatest guy ever. And they just got such a, a brilliant cast of characters there. Bart's my favorite. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Bart's really Bart's cool so too. Cool. Yeah. What? Um. I don't. I don't know his name in the show, nor do I know his new, real name. But I also find uh, 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 Malcolm's best friend at school. Oh, Craig. Right, Craig. Okay. Yeah. I. I think he's a kick too. <laughs> yeah, he's cool. Uh, does he actually have a breathing problem? No, he's perfectly normal. Oh, okay. He's not even. He's not even in a wheelchair. Oh, okay. So. So well, that, that's cool how he does that. I mean, like, <gasps> behind you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, can you talk about any of the storylines in the uh, yeah. new episode? Um, new episodes coming up? I mean, sans me, the Dewey thing? Let me think. How many episodes have you shot We've so far? done like 12 or 13. Wow. They've all, I, I've forgotten all the episodes. <laughs> you, you do them and like you just forget. Right. I'm um, thinking of one that we just watched, um, the our Halloween episode. It's actually a belated Halloween episode. Um, Francis come, can't, can't, Francis 
Francis was supposed to come for uh, Halloween to raise some trouble with us, but he got in trouble. So it's about a week later, he comes back. He brings home these plans with, like, this awesome slingshot. Like, it shoots, like, anything you want, like, two city blocks. Mm -hmm. So we have it set up. We have, like, dirty diapers. We got water balloons. We got, like, pantyhose filled with mud. (laughs) We're we're on the roof of our house, and we're shooting these things off. We got, like, (laughs) cheese. We got everything you can think of. And uh, everything's, like, under attack. We've gotten, like, old ladies. We've gotten, like... Like people in cars or whatever, that so we're all like we're all thinking we're all bad, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere we start getting attacked by water balloons and like tofu, <laughs> and the we hit the we we were hitting the crow winds before, and then they they built like a super one with like laser guided uh, range finders or whatever on theirs, so like we're all getting hit by everything, and like there's there's nothing we can do because they have all these like super like, tractor things that I can, like, <laughs> that, like, they can, like, perfectly position every, where every shot's going, and, like, so they take out our slingshot and uh, our ladder, and, like, by the end of, like, by the end of, like, being attacked, we're all covered in gunk, everything. That, 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 that was a good episode. That, <laughs> I bet. That must be a fun show to shoot. It was really fun. I mean, the whole crew, we were standing up there, and, like, we're, here we are in our clothes, and all of a sudden, they start throwing stuff at us. Because, like, the whole crew just wanted to get us. Right. When's that airing, do you know? Or? Um, that was, like our, like, our third episode, or second or third episode. Really? Okay. So now, when the, when the new episodes start, you're, so basically each Sunday night and then also on Wednesday night. Yeah. So, so, that's, so that same week, basically. Okay. So the, new, the Wednesday episodes will premiere right after, the three days later after yeah. the uh, Sunday episode. I believe it's Wednesday. Okay. Well, that's cool. Yeah. Well, they and I can't think of a program on Wednesday nights anymore on uh, Fox, so they definitely need a lead in. <laughs> we should be good there. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And, and and there's not a lot of I think about the other networks, and there's not a lot of competition there probably for comedies there. I know because NBC does kind of their dramas that night, and right. I don't know what in the world. Oh, now, Amy... now we're up against Ed. Oh. On Sundays. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that did well in the ratings. I see the first week. So. You might have some uh, uh, competition. Of, yeah, but it seems like a different crowd. Yeah, that's true. And Malcolm in the Middle is kind of a, I, I don't know. I, I've I've talked to Simpsons fans who love the show, and then I've also talked to other Simpsons fans who aren't you know are kind of indifferent towards the show, aren't the biggest fans. To of me, it. I think they're like the same kind of. I think we were like more like a live version of the Simpsons. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, with I don't know. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Anything else uh, going on in the uh, Malcolm in the Middle camp that's uh, cool? You guys aren't going to do a movie, are you? Um, uh, <laughs> no, there's a rumor of the Simpsons the, movie. There's like I, we've I, we've heard stuff around the set like about movies being made. We're, we're actually having a CD coming out. Really? Yep. Oh, I love that song. You're not the boss of me now. Yeah, I think that's going to be on it. It's like it's going to be. A, they might be giants. I think there's going to be like a bunch of songs from the show, like all like the. Roller skating song mm-hmm. that Hal skated to that song. Right. I think they're just doing a bunch of songs from the show. So it's gonna be pretty good. And I think we have books too. Really? So that's what I heard. Your merchandise. Well, you can't wait. I can't wait for the Reese figurine and stuff. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> It'd be like the. Have you seen those interactive Simpsons? Yeah, things? Yeah, click them like their arms moving. Like yeah, there's like a like, there's like a house you put the. Right, yeah, and you, you you send Homer to you know the Quickie Mart and stuff, and yeah. you like talk to Apu and stuff. <laughs> that would be that would be a kick. Now, we, was last year, and I can't remember, it was last year your first year on the air. Yeah. Okay, so there wasn't uh, any episodes previous to that. How many episodes did you shoot last year? Um, uh, we did thirteen, and then we did, we came back about two months later and did three more. Oh, okay. So after this year, that would be 41 episodes. So you're still about 59 away from syndication. Uh. <laughs> That's where the money is, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> Actually, unhappy, unhappily ever after is in syndication. Yeah, we're, we're like, I think for a while we were on like two times a day. Really? Wow. I mean, that. I don't know. I never watched that show, but I've, I'd always flick through and I'd always see the bunny. <laughs> and I'm like, what in the world? It was like uh, a show that used to be on NBC, one of my favorite shows of all time, because I just remembered it uh, a couple weeks ago. It was called BJ and the Bear. It was about an over-the-road truck driver who had 
a monkey with them, and they'd get adventures and stuff. <laughs> there was an actual monkey. I'm like, they need to bring this show back. So I've never heard of that. <laughs> <laughs> most most people haven't. I think it was only on like a year or two, but it, it was it was pretty cool. Um, you said you surfed the internet when we were talking a little bit beforehand. I was just curious. I always like to ask people what are the, kind of their favorite sites, but though you said basically you just uh, do the AOL thing, huh? Yeah, I mostly just talk to friends, keep in touch. Right. I don't really go on websites. Don't you? Mm-hmm. No. Nope. There's a little, there's there's some cool websites out there. I mean, there's a lot of junk out there, but you know. Actually, it, I do go to one website. Okay. Board dot com. Board b o r e d. Yeah. What what's there? It's like a bunch of like junk. <laughs> like it's what like, do you mean? It's like, it's like surveys, like like a uh, bunch of like, are you like house like like the the non smart test or whatever. It's like it's like questions that are like completely impossible to answer. Mm-hmm. And like they they, they they said like if you get like the more you get right or whatever, it's like how stupid you are. Right. I don't know. Like it's like they got a bunch of things. <laughs> it's really good though. Okay, well that's cool. For when you're bored. <laughs> Obviously. What a coincidence. Yeah, how about that? Anyways, well, um, so the uh, the big show is kicking off uh, November fifth. Right. And I'm looking forward to it personally because I'm a big fan of the show. And Thank you. I, I love Reese. Thanks. You do a wonderful job on the show. Thank you. And and then, of course, uh, and, and there's obviously a Malcolm in the Middle website at fox.com, I would assume. Yep. So everybody can uh, go on there and check out uh, the, the new stuff. Do you have uh, do you have any fan websites? Uh, I, I forgot to look before the, the show started, but I know there's a lot of people that create fan websites. I, think, I, I know of one. Do you? Yeah. Have you ever talked to the person via email or anything? Um. Yeah. Like they emailed me and asked if they could call it my official fan website. Right. And I said sure, of course. <laughs> well, that's cool. So, I love Reese dot com. Right? No, no, that's probably not. No, it's actually like Dude's Paradise or something. Right. You know, it's funny that my favorite candy bar is Reese's, and your name on the show is Reese. Is that too ironic or what? That's cool. <laughs> I like Reese's Pieces too. Yeah, who said I wasn't nuts, huh? Wow, this has been a pleasure. Thank you. You're the greatest, you know that. Thank you. Everybody tune in uh, November 5th uh, on Fox for Malcolm in the Middle. Yep. And a big thanks go out to Justin Burfield from Malcolm in the Middle. He plays Reese on the show, and he plays it outstandingly, in my humble opinion. And Justin, in general, is just a very fun kid to talk with. Was that great or what? He's wonderful, I think. So that's why I want to kind of launch the show with him. Plus the Malcolm in the Middle thing and my name being Malcolm, so it's just kind of ironic, isn't it? Speaking of Malcolm, actually, Malcolm from Malcolm in the Middle should be on the show coming up in December. So what do you think about that, huh? Dueling Malcolms? Who will get in trouble first, basically? (laughs) If you've ever watched the show, you probably know what I'm talking about. Also, special thanks to Jill over at Fox. And once again, a reminder that the new season of Malcolm in the Middle comes up November 5th on Fox. What is that? 7.30 Central and 8.30 East and Pacific Time if you're in the U.S. Malcolm in the Middle, baby. I love it, man. I really love it. Hey, if you're a guy and you're looking for some, like, uh, cool entertainment news, you want to head over to eUniverse.com. Not only... Actually, if you're anybody, not only can you check out some interesting entertainment news with kind of slanted toward the male perspective, but you can also check out an interview with Amy Weber. She's a model and an actress. And if you go in for the pictures, there's a whole bunch of new pictures of Amy over there. So swing on by. Also, you can sign up for showbizblast.com at euniverse.com. And uh, basically, you can sign up for a lot of other cool newsletters there delivered right to your mailbox. Actually, I'm signed up for not only showbizblast.com, I'm signed up for Gamers Daily, I'm signed up for, uh, what is it, Joke of the Day, and also uh, The Real Thing. And they're all very cool, and I wouldn't say that. Basically, you you can count on me never to lie to you. If I don't like something, I'm not going to say I like something. But I I like all these, and you can swing by and check them out. Euniverse.com, number one in fun. Well, that's basically the big show for today. Once again, a reminder about uh, our contests we're giving away the rest of the week. Actually, they're not contests. Basically, all you got to do is to uh, be eligible for it is just send in comments or questions or suggestions on guests or whatever you want to say to uh, feedback at eUniverseLive.com. If you want to email me specifically, you can email me at Malcolm at eUniverseLive.com. In case most people get this wrong, it's M-A-L-C-O-L-M at eUniverseLive.com. Dot com. That's the big show for today. E-Universe Live, the first one ever. October 24th, 2000 is in the books. 
I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed what you heard, and I hope you'll be tuning in each and every day. I realize you're probably not going to be tuning in every day because, you know, people's lives get busy. But, hey, come back and see us. We'll be part of Showbiz Blast. You can find us right there, delivered right to your mailbox. So how can you go wrong with that, right? There you go. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Sign up at showbizblast.com to get eUniverse Live delivered to your mailbox each and every weekday. If you have comments, questions, or suggestions, email us at feedback at eUniverseLive.com. Special thanks to Paul Meyer, Ryan Tim, Rick Fleischer, and Marco Alardi. Any reproduction or rebroadcast of this program without the prior written consent of eUniverse is strictly prohibited. eUniverse Live is a production of the eUniverse Network. You haven't lost your touch.